Hi everybody, we've waited a long time for this one, haven't we? It was a hot, hot day in Dallas at Ornby Stadium and Texas Tech will begin the day. Robert Hall taking over for Jamie Gill at quarterback. Jamie injured and Robert will pass to Don Hasley. That good for a gain of 16. A few plays later, the drive stalls, however, and Mark Bounds had a great day. Here's his first punt, 56 yards, and look at this bounce. The ball will eventually be killed at the one yard line. On the first play for SMU, Ison will get the call. He'll go up the middle, but Brian Tucker will stop him right there. Was it a safety? Well, the Raiders certainly tried to get that, but no, it was not. Two plays later, Hill up the middle, and again, no gain. Great play by Fred Petty. By the way, Big Fred had eight tackles on the day. Mark Lewis, the SMU punter, has to kick it away. He does a punt of 51 yards. But boy, this is a good sight. Tracy saw returning kicks again. 22-yard return, and the Raiders are set up in great shape. Again, the play on the 27-yard line on the second play of this drive. Hall hands off to Anthony Lynn. That good for a gain of four. Anthony had 68 yards on the day. On the next play, Hall with those quick feet on the right side. That good for a gain of four. Robert Hall will pass to Rodney Blackshear. That good for a gain of seven, almost into the end zone. On the very next play, big Louis Sheffield up the middle. Good for a gain of one. And the Raiders are on the board. And boy, that is a good sight to see as Lynn Elliott kicks the extra point. 31-yard drive, eight plays. Took three minutes and 36 seconds. And the old Raiders are up seven to nothing. Well, SMU on their very next possession. Let's start. With uh, three plays into that drive, this will be Dan Flyberger, and he is smacked there by Jackson, and that pass is incomplete. Take a look at the replay. Great pressure by the Raiders all day long, <laughs> and you can see there Stacy Jackson with a great defensive play. I believe that was the best pressure the Raiders have certainly had all year long. Well, the Raiders get the ball back. This will be Robert complete to Blackshear. That's good for a gain of 20 and a first down. Two plays later, Bam Morris. And he said that one man was not going to bring him down on this day. And uh, you got to believe him after you see this run. Big Bam had 98 yards on the day. That a gain of 10 right there. Two plays later, Robert's still at quarterback, and it's a play-action pass. The only catch of the day for Anthony Snell, but it was a big one. A 14-yard touchdown pass. Take another look at it, and a great play on the rollout. Anthony Snell with the touchdown, and the Raiders really on top on this one. And it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? That was a 51-yard drive. Five plays, one minute and 22 seconds. Elliott's extra point was good, and the Raiders are up by 14 with a little over four minutes left here in the opening stance. Well, let's move to the second play of SMU's drive. This is Freiberger. He throws complete to Wilburn. That good for a gain of 20. Very next play, first and 10 from the 43. Freiberger going to be pressured and sacked. Boy, the whole defensive front just caved in. Take another look at it from the ground level. You'll see Lissio and Petty and Phelps, all the guys really applying great pressure. On the very next play, this will be a draw play to Wilson, but no go. There's Big Fred again. That a loss of five yards. On third and 19, Freiberger will be sacked again. Petty and Jackson, loss of eight on that play. There's the other look at it. Holy cow, is that great pressure? Ooh, nice moves, Fred. Well, after SMU punts it away to Tech, Robert uh, on the second play will uh, hit little Byron Hooper with the uh, quick screen out there. Byron goes up the right sideline. Take another look at it. You can see Byron from San Antonio takes the ball and goes for a good gain of seven yards. Make it third and five now from the 44. Hall to pass, looking, completes. There's Rodney Blackshear. Boy, it's good to see him back in action. End of the first quarter, and the Raiders are up 14 to nothing, and in control of this game. First play of the second quarter, a little dipsy doodle right there. As Anthony Stinnett takes the end around and gains 11. On the next play, Hall to Morris. Good gain of six yards, 235 pounds from Cooper, Texas. 
Bam Morris is going to have a nice career at Texas. Well, this drive turned to peanut butter. There was a loss on the uh, mishandled pitch. And then Robert will want to throw on third down toward the end zone. Ball is going to be picked off right there by Simmons. As we said, that drive will stall. And SMU will take over at their own 13. Freiberger will want to throw on the first play. He does. It's going to be complete as he escapes the pressure. That's for a gain of six to Jason Wolf. On the very next play, Freiberger again will look to throw. They certainly haven't been able to run. And there's Mike Lissio coming from his left uh, in and linebacker position. Look at this. He just escapes. Freiberger does not see him. And there's Big Mike with a great, great sack right there for a loss of about eight yards on the play. On third and 12, this will be Hill up the middle. And there is uh, Big Harry Dias on the defensive stop, that for a gain of three yards. Well, Lewis has to punt. Looks kind of like my golf game, off the side of his foot, out of bounds, and the Raiders take over in great position at the 32 on the first play. Hall to Sheffield, and the ball is set and done down the left sideline. He goes for a really good gain of 20 yards. We have a replay, show you that Robert, this is what a cornerback would look, uh, see coming out. There's the fake to Anthony Lynn fooled our cameraman and uh, apparently the cornerback. Lewis goes down the left sideline for a gain of 20. Two plays later, Robert will want to throw and once again, you will see big Don Hasley come up with his second catch of the day. This will be for a gain of five. On the next play, third and three from the five yard line, Robert will roll right, sees an opening and jumps into the end zone for the touchdown. So the Raiders, thanks to that great defense and some uh, timely punting by the SMU Mark Lewis, take over deep in SMU's territory, and they have the ball pushed in two yards for the plays. And boy, things are looking really good, aren't they? After four tough weeks, and enjoying this one. Well, SMU's fifth play, and look at Brian Dubisky. He absolutely undressed Rossley right there and caused the incompletion. On the next play, third and seven. Freiberger again to pass, again to Rossley, and Scotty Allen stops him after a gain of 15 and an SMU first down. On first and 10, Freiberger complete again to Rossley, who was the uh, son of uh, Coach Rossley there at SMU. That was only good for a gain of two. And SMU, this will be Wilson on the misdirection. Good for a gain of 10. Two plays later, second and four. Freiberger on the shovel pass, but nothing doing right there. That was great defense, wasn't it? Ryan Gurley came in and stopped that play. And five plays later, Freiberger wants to throw, goes across the middle. There's Gurley again. And look at Brian. That ends a 96 pass with no interceptions by SMU's Dan Freiberger. And Brian certainly comes up with a great interception right there. Well back to play, that was Robert to Rodney Blackshear, but the drive stalled right there. That brings on Mark Bounce and good grief, almost over the uh, end zone out there. 62 yard punt, once again, SMU is in deep trouble down at their, well, let's call it the 20 yard line. And the second play from scrimmage, that was Hill up the uh, middle for a gain of 39 before Anthony Wiley can Wilds him. First and 10 from the 20. Freiberger wants to pass. Looks for Jordan. He throws. Hey, good play by Donnie Brooks right there. Stopped him for no gain. And on second and 10 from the 20. SMU trying to score. Pass into the end zone. Donnie Brooks. Great, great interception. Take another look at that. You can see how Donnie had, uh, well, almost looked like he was beat, but great recovery and the great interception. Well, that's the way it ended up. Texas Tech leading 21 to nothing at halftime. And I'll tell you, if you take a look at the stats, you can see the total domination right there. 21 to nothing, 13 to seven in first downs, rushing. Look at SMU, only 48 yards. Passing, 100 yards for Tech, 75 for SMU. Big stat, three turnovers taken away by the Raiders. And look at this punting average in the first half. Mark Bounds, 59-yard average on two punts. Well, as we said, total domination, and let's not put it off any longer. Let's go to some great, great second-half highlights. 
Let's pick up second half action on Tech's first possession, and this is Big Louis Sheffield up the middle for 17 on a great run. Two plays later, Robert Hall will fade, scramble, and roll right. He'll pick up seven. Two plays later, Anthony Lynn gets the call on the draw, and he goes along the right sideline with a nice cut there for a gain of eight. The drive fizzles. Texas Tech will kick the field goal 53 yards, just short. Good effort there by Lynn Elliott. Score remains 21 to nothing. On the first play, Freiberger scrambles left, and he can't find anybody and says to heck with this and just gets out of bounds. On the next play, be the draw play to Hill. He fumbles. There's a scramble for the ball, and let's see. SMU retains it. A loss of seven. It brings on Lewis to punt. Tracy uh, fields the football and is going to bring the ball up the left sideline for a gain of 27. Boy, it's nice to see him returning punts again. On the third play of the drive for Tech, well, it wasn't perfect. Lose 14 right there as Robert is sacked, but a pretty good job all day long by that offensive line. Well, here's Mark Bounds, 57 yards, and SMU is deep in their own territory again. Here's Freiberger. He wants to pass. Watch him, but there'll be great pressure from the right. He looks left, and so you want to be a college quarterback, huh? Look at this. Just running for his life. You see Jackson chasing him out. Here's a replay of it from ground level, and it looks like he gives up on the play and says, let me get out of bounds. Well, on the very next play, Hill will go up the middle, and there is great defense by Steve Hoffman and Mike Lissio enforcing another SMU punt. Lewis punts, 49 yards. Tracy will take it. All is said and done. He gains 14 great blocks downfield to allow Tracy to return the ball. Well, Tech can't move it. Kind of a lackluster third quarter, but look at that. The ball almost higher than the uh, building surrounding the SMU campus. That was a 35-yard punt. It kind of hurt, of it, hurt his average. Oh, well, you can't be perfect all the time. On the third play for SMU, Freiberger complete to Wilson. But a great play by Ben Kirkpatrick there for a gain of three. And on the next play, the Ponies fumble, and Texas Tech comes up with the ball. Bam Morris goes to work. Last play will show you the third quarter. That a tough game for six yards. 21 to nothing. That's the way it was at halftime. That's the way it is after three quarters. And here comes Tech. Little dipsy doodle. And things go awry. Tech gets no points on that play. And SMU comes up with the football. But it's time to call on the defense again. Freiberger will go back to pass. Complete to Jordan. Great play. Donnie Brooks holds him to a gain of one. On the very next play, Freiberger will pass. Going long down the sideline, Donnie Brooks, another great play. Donnie, after the game, said he thought he should have intercepted that one. And on the draw play, look at this. Great defense by Jackson as he was not fooled and gives the ball to Texas Tech as they force the Ponies to punt the football away. What a day for the defense. Well, Tech back with the ball. Third play on this possession. Robert Hall to Rod Blackshear. 36 yards when all is said and done. Here's a replay for you. Hall to Blackshear. Boy, is it good to see Blackshear back in this after that early season leg injury. On the very next play from the 30-yard line, Robert with those quick feet. Look, great blocking by the offensive line. Robert scrambles, goes down the left sideline for 13 yards. And on two plays later, speaking of those quick feet, let's look at this one more time. There you see great, great blocking by the offensive line, and Robert scrambles. That was the game for 13. Now, let's go two plays later. We talked about those great uh, feet of Roberts. Looking, looking, steps up, throws. There's Byron Hooper all by himself. Touchdown. Take another look at that from ground level. You can see how Robert scrambles, and Byron just gets out there by himself, and it's a touchdown. So what a great day. Anthony Stinnett has a touchdown. Byron Hooper has a touchdown. So we spread that around, and there's plenty of good cheer to go around. Lynn Elliott adds the extra point. 50 yards, five plays, a minute and 58 seconds, and the Raiders on top, 28 to nothing. Let's go back to the defense. What a good day for them. Freiberger passes to Rossley, and the coach's kid has it for 44 yards before he's knocked down. Five plays later, draw play, and another good game for SMU before Tracy Saul knocks Hill out after a gain of 21. 
And three plays later, the Ponies finally get on the board as Hill goes into the end zone for the touchdown. They try for two, and look at this play. Steve Carr blitz, sacked. Is down to make it 28 Texas Tech and six for the Mustangs. A little over eight minutes left in the ball game. Tech once more now. Here come the Raiders, and this is Anthony Lynn left. Good blocking by the offensive line. He's down inside the 20 yard line. SMU jumps off sides. Bam Morris takes the ball up the left sideline, and he is down close to the 10. On the next play, Bam again makes a uh, move, goes outside, trying for the end zone, but a holding play pushes the ball back. That brings on Lynn Elliott, and he bangs home a 34-yard field goal, make it 31-6, to 25-yard drive in seven plays. Now back to the defensive side of things. John Pitts will have a big sack right there. Ball squirts free, but they said the ball was down. Take a look at it from ground level, and this was close to being a free play. John Pitts fights off a couple of men and sacks Flyberger. SMU eventually will have to punt the ball away, and the offense takes over. Jason Clemens now in at quarterback, and he pitches the ball back to the Bammer. Good for a gain of six on the next play from the 36. Morris up the middle for a gain of eight yards. Two plays later, again, Bam will go right, and good blocking there by the offensive line. He is inside the 10, going for the goal line, knocked down at the one, and he will get the touchdown. He goes up and over. Tech has a big win. That made it 38 to six. SMU would add a late touchdown, but a big, big 38 to 14 win for the Raiders. And boy, is that not good to see. That's what the doctor ordered, and it will be a pleasure. Let's go talk to Spike and the players. You know, the friends are hard, sort of hard to find lately, and, uh, you know, people say bad things about you and everything, and I really appreciate our kids. You know, I really do. I appreciate our students and appreciate our great supporters because they all stood, you know, stayed with us, and it's not easy, you know, and I don't mean that we've turned our season around or we've done anything, but we didn't win a game, broke a four-game losing streak, and uh, I think it's just what we needed. I really do. I think it's something that hopefully will uh, will spur something else on, and, uh Maybe the best of this football team is still yet to come. I thought we played better today than we played at any time this year and on both sides of the football. And, and you know, SMU, uh, take it any way you want to. They're hard to beat. They, they had a lot going for them. They have a, uh, they've got a game team, and uh, they had a, a lot of momentum going. And I'll tell you, I'm just uh, really proud of our players. I really am. I thought we played hard. I thought we played good. And, uh, and you know, we played 60 minutes of football, and we were able to win a game. Did you make any defensive changes, or did the defense just rise up to another level? I thought Coach Maynard and his staff did a good job, Eddie. They, uh, I think we played a little different style of defense. You know, maybe we were, we weren't quite a, as aggressive uh, as far as coverage, and, and yet we did a good job of tackling. I thought we, uh, you know, we sort of backed off and didn't play them quite so tight. We made some big plays on defense. Really played a good defensive game. And I don't know when I, when we played that aggressive and. Uh, and that consistent, great field position. You know, the offense uh, had many, many opportunities to go very, very short distances for touchdowns, and and uh, that's always a plus. But I think uh, I folks probably need the week off. You know, it's going to help us prepare for a tough Rice team who beat Baylor today. So, you know, that week off is going to help. I was just doing what I could to get off the ball as fast as I can. You know, because I have to use my quickness to make up for my size. You know, going up against those linemen, 280 pounds, 290 pounds, and you know. Earlier this week we were talking to uh, the punter from SMU. You and him were pretty good friends. Uh, did that motivate you a little bit more to kick better today? No, nah, not really because he's always lost to me. <laughs> well, the, the play of the line, you know, the line, uh, Stacy Patrick and the rest of the offensive line, they did a great job today. That makes my job a lot easier. Uh, you guys uh, you needed a win so bad. You got it today. Uh, you guys seem to be in a good mood now. Uh, oh, you got an open week. How did you feel about that? Well, you know, we wanted to get a win today, you know, going into the open week so we could get a little momentum going. We know that uh, the season is not over for us, you know. We wanted to get this win to start things rolling, and I think that's what we accomplished today. Bam runs real uh, real hard. He's a, he, he stays on his feet. He's got his legs going the whole time. He's a really tough runner, hard to bring down. He doesn't quit, just keeps after it. 
it feels great. You know, we're just going to try to take this win and build on it and go back, you know, next week, get the week off, come back, be ready for Rice because they beat Baylor today, a good Baylor team, so it's going to be a tough game in Lubbock. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with the change because I played tailback in high school. And down in three-point stand with three yards didn't give you too much a running option. You could just, yeah, I did the whole playing tailback give you the vision to see the cut or, you know, turn back, and I like that better. The signature of Bam Morris running the football is running hard. You're not going to let one guy bring you down. No, I'm determined to score reply, get the ball. Uh, I did it in high school, and I'm still with it. And I just, you hit me, you're going to have to hit me hard because I'm, I'm, I'm going to go no matter what. They gave the ball back to you to score on that one-yard play where you dove into the end zone. Did you think you were getting in on the long run that led, led to that play? No, not really. I didn't think I was going to go, but uh, I had to go over the top because I wanted that touchdown. I smelled it. So uh, I had to go over the top, and it was great. You said a moment ago that this really brought this Tech football team together. Tell me a little bit about how you feel this, this is going to help you guys out on down the road. Uh, SMU, this game right here, you know, we came out first quarter, great intensity. Uh, we came out and just moved the ball on, on our defense. And uh, the defense came out and played great, too. And uh, I think it kind of brought us together as a bond. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, we playing together. Intensity's great. High five, touchdown, and a great hit. Everybody's up, you know. Uh, I think it's just this game showed us, you know, that we can win games and just come together as unity. Yes, it's easy. Uh, defense, uh, they got us some real good field position on a lot of uh, scoring opportunities, and uh, we got going, running, and passing, so it just made the game easier today. SMU's defense, uh, one of the better in the Southwest Conference coming in, you knew it was going to be a real challenge to move the ball and get in the end zone. Yes, we knew, but if we get off and, you know, do the things that we're coached to do, we, we can, you know, really beat anybody. It's just that when we go in there and, you know, not positive and not confident, it'll be a long day for us. Got to think that you've come out of this game very confident and positive about what the offense can do the rest of the way. Yes, uh, we got, you know, moved down to Marsh out to receive, but he's able to get wide, you know, wide open. So we pretty much know what we can do. Uh, we're getting some things done that we wanted to do, like some running plays. So it just makes it uh, a lot easier. Uh, it feels good to get a win. It's, uh, hopefully it starts some momentum for us. We can win the next one. A uh, week off coming up, and then the Rice Owls, who knocked off the Baylor Bears this afternoon. Uh, Rice is pretty tough, man. If you underestimate Rice like we did last year, that beat you. But uh, you think no underestimating the Red Raiders from this point on. Still a lot of football to be played, and, and a season that I guess is out there for the taking now. Well, I hope, hope they underestimate us. That way we can sneak up and beat them. So if we keep winning, we'll get some respect somewhere. Well, we knew it was going to be a tough game today. They, uh... They really handled Tulane last week, and we knew if we could stop their running game and force them to pass, we'd have a good chance today. You step in front of a Dan Freiberger pass and pick it off. You know, he had thrown 96 straight passes without an interception. It was the very first of his career. What, what happened on that play? <laughs> I think I got lucky more than anything. He, uh, he started scrambling. There was great coverage in the secondary, and uh, he threw it a little low, and I just got a hand on it. I was able to grab it. I thought I was out of bounds. I thought if I take a step, I'd be out of bounds. I didn't. I didn't really know I was in bounds. I just. I tried to bat it away when I hit it up. I just. I tried to make the play and catch it. So it happened. So I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. And I got to credit the defensive line because I should have had the other interception, but they made him throw it. It was really a kind of bad pass. I should have had it, but the defensive line all night was in their face and they really couldn't complete any positive yards besides the one at the end. And the quarterback was good. He, he was a good quarterback. Do you like the idea of the off week now, or would you like to play next week and keep this momentum going? I don't know. I think if you're going to have an off week, it's certainly a lot easier after you've won a game than after you've lost one. I'd hate for last week to have been off, because last week lasted about 365 days, it seemed like. And uh, But, you know, the uh, we talked about this a while ago. Our football season was halfway over today at the half. Mm -hmm. That's five and a half games. And uh, there's, so there's a lot of football left. We've got five games left. Uh, I don't know what the final outcome is going to be. I have no idea, but I do know this, that uh, if we can improve as much next in the next two weeks as we have in the last week, well, then I think we've got a chance to go on maybe and get our train on the track. And uh, who knows what can happen. I know that uh, it's going to be tough every Saturday. Rice just beat Baylor, I heard, and Baylor's top ten team in the nation, and we got to play Rice in two weeks. So, uh, you know, I guess that'll be uh, one of those all-out battles. And then the next week, uh, you know, it's, I think it's Texas, and then it's Arkansas who beat Houston today. and So it's just on and on, and it'll be a lot of fun. I, you know, who knows? Uh, we could get hot, and, and a lot of things could happen. I'll see you next week, and we'll do kind of the 50,000-mile checkup. That'd <laughs> be great, Eddie. I appreciate it. And, you know, like I said, again, uh, you know, I know that 
this goes out to a lot of people that are really strong tech people and a lot of tech supporters and gosh we appreciate you hanging in there with us when you know when we it wasn't always real shiny and uh, you know we didn't look very good last week didn't play real good and uh, but I tell you we had a lot of people that support us and and kept our old chins up and I want to thank those people because uh, you really appreciate loyalty when, and especially when things aren't going too good and you know for that I'm very grateful and I hope we can fulfill their expectations. Thank <laughs> you.